Welcome back to the channel. My name is Avon. We're back with Football Manager 2019 and Eastern Resurgence with Belinda FC Dynamo. We're in the second half of our final season now, uh, on the home stretch as it were, and uh, we've got probably about maybe five more to go. Depends how far we get in the Champions League. Um, I think the next video will probably be the knockouts of the Champions League. I'm not sure exactly when they are, but I imagine they'll be next time. Uh, but today, it's our first game back after our winter break. We're taking on Schalke in a home game. We've played through the winter break. There's a few fixtures before that that we played off camera. Uh, no transfers, but there's a couple of sales. Uh, let's jump into it. We're just going to try and get through this. And then FM20, I imagine, will be 4th or 5th of November, which I hope it's not because I'm working late night both those days. So if it drops on the Monday or Tuesday, I'm in trouble because I'm already going to be behind on content because everyone else will have uploaded videos and I'd have to wait until probably the next day, which is horrible. Don't want to do it. So hopefully it's up before then. I'm hoping for the weekend before that because I think I'm off Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That would be ideal. I'm not sure if that happened. Though. Hopefully it's not Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but anyway, last episode, it was a very disappointing performance uh, as we lost 2-0 against uh, Hanover. Two first half goals for them and we just were very poor in this one. We created a couple of chances but couldn't find a goal. It, it was disappointing. Uh, five games played off camera, a couple of friendlies for them then there as well just to keep up fitness up over the winter break. But we started off uh, after that by um, responding with a win, a 2-0 at home win against uh, Ingolstadt, who I think were newly promoted. I think they were hit with the last season, I can't remember. Uh, but one more than 2-0, two fairly early goals. Um, yeah, much more dominant here. Not as much of the ball, but plenty of shots. 12 shots on target here. And if it wasn't for their goalkeeper, Montero, we could have had about five or six goals in this one. Uh, it was Strebel and Karajotis getting the goals for this one. Strebel with his first goal of the season. He's been a bit goal shy this year, Strebel, and has become kind of back up at the right wing because Pregrino's come through a bit this season. And also we do have Nikolai Petrov, who's been out with injury, but he's probably fit to play today. I think he will play. Uh, but Strebel got the first goal. Karajotis got the second goal. Um, Karajotis is still scoring plenty of goals. 2-0. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty comfortable. Then we had our final Champions League group game uh, at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. And we made it a clean sweep in the Champions League group with a 3-1 win away from home. Six wins out of six. We topped the group. One of only two teams, the other being Liverpool, to win all six group games. And we get rewarded with the tie against Real Madrid in the next round. So we've got Real Madrid and the Bernabeu in the first leg of the Champions League last 16. Not the reward I wanted for winning the group easily. But it was a 3-1 victory here. We were 3-0 up and then Chelsea got a consolation goal. And it was Bernard Pukai with a brace in the first half. Uh, one of the goals was cracking as well. Really, really pretty finish. One of the sweetest goals he was going to score uh, this season. And then in the second half, Carrie Jotis uh, added a third that came on 70 minutes. Um, he's on 20 now. He's definitely into the 20s. He might be on 21. Chelsea did get a consolation goal. Martin Alderton off the bench, uh, getting a goal uh, one minute from time. But a 3-1 win, six wins out of six in the Champions League. Fantastic work. I couldn't be happy with that. But yeah, uh, we won the group and we've got Real Madrid in the first knockout round. I'll have a look at their team when we get to that next time. I think it will be next time. But when we face Real Madrid, we'll have a good look at their team and see who they have. We followed that up with another disappointing performance as we lost 1-0 away to Werder Bremen. Only two shots on target in this one. Again, we created a couple of chances, but couldn't find the goal. And Bremen weren't that much better themselves. It was a pretty dull match. Uh, they got the only goal on 70 minutes and it was a Schneider, the left winger, uh, getting that goal um yeah it didn't go well for us again here Pukai played well but he was like the only one that did really defending was wasn't it wasn't bad but Kuchin made a mistake for the goal um going forward we weren't great strikers didn't really pull off much disappointing away performance once again as we suffered defeat then we really did bounce back. We had an eight-goal thriller against at Borussia Dortmund as we won five goals to three. Just an absolutely insane performance here. Uh, I don't know where this came from, but five goals here. A, a hat-trick for Carrot Jortis once again. Um, Dortmund kept scoring, but we kept getting in front and we went a bit... We, we went for it. And, you know, we went for the whole we're going to score more than you mentality. It, it's the clock mentality. You just outscore them when we did. I mean, we led very, very early. Carrot Jortis scored after about two minutes. Just really, really good start. Dortmund pegged us back though, Marco Aminarini, who uh, gets a lot of their goals, I think he's their top scorer, 23rd minute goal for him. And then they went in front before half time, Marco Santoni uh, getting the 42 minute goal, replacing Stark who suffered an injury. And Marco Palladino, the defender, getting on a set piece, gave us a equalising goal, 53 minutes, it was 2-2. And then we went 3-2 up as Carrot Joyce added his second goal of the game. Uh, but then Dortmund equalised for a second time as Marcel Boss, another substitute, uh, replaced uh, Buller. Uh, he scored to make it 3-3. 
Carrot Jotis uh, nailed his hat trick to score uh, on 79 minutes to make it 4 3. And then Progrino got a goal on 93rd minute to get that fifth goal and put the game beyond any doubt. Uh, and uh, Dortmund also ended the match with 10 men as they got an injury. Uh, yeah, they were unlucky in injuries, but the players that they brought on did well. So uh, it was a great game. Eight goals in this one. Uh, the final competitive match we played was a away victory against Augsburg, which is better because our away form has struggled a bit recently. This was a good way in 3-2. So again, we're shipping a few goals at the moment, but we're outscoring them. So that's okay. Uh, another defender scoring here. We've not seen a lot of goals from defenders in the past sort of seasons or two. There's not been a great deal. But Vujicic got an eighth minute goal to give us an early lead once again. And then we had two goals inside a minute. I don't know what order they were in because they both say 40 minutes. But um, Eidegan scored for Augsburg. That might have been an equaliser, but I'm not too sure. And in the same minute, Luka Kana scored to make it 2-1. Or it may have been Kana and then Eidegan. I don't know because they're both in the 40th minute. Two goals inside a minute. Mad stuff there. And then there were two goals in quick succession in the second half as well, as uh, we scored to make it 3-1. Luka Kana with the second goal of the game, that came on 67 minutes. And then less than two minutes later, Augsburg added a second for themselves, Christian Ulwicker with a goal. 3-2 was the uh, result. Uh, I think we deserve the win here, we were much, much better than them. Um, 22 shots to 12, uh, possession was more or less the same. Uh, Kana with two goals in this one, which is good because he has had a bit of a goal drop. Clovis doing very well at right back. Vujicic getting a goal as well. Um, yeah, good away performance here. Much needed because our away form has been a bit patchy, as I said. But Schalke today, next time it's going to be Real Madrid in the Champions League first leg. Uh, we've got a cup game in between as well. Um, so we're going to do Schalke and then from then on, as long as we're in the Champions League, we're going to play that. Uh, transfers, Torsten Bezel has left the club and gone to Colm for just under a million pounds. So that's the one exit we've had. Uh, never really played that much really had a handful of first team appearances played eight games for us uh last season didn't do too badly actually he just found themselves lost in the shuffle a lot because we, we never really had any big problems at, at center back we always had players so he played it's like you say he played a handful of games here and there probably about 10 games for the first team maybe more like 15 um he never did that badly really should have given him a bit more of a chance. But that's it at the moment. We do have a fee agreed uh, with Dortmund to sell Gajic because he wants to leave. Uh, that, including add-ons, is about £9 million. Um, but I don't think we're going to see any players come in at the moment. I've had a look for some youth as well. And um, every time we're trying to buy youth players at the moment, they want to be in the squad. Like They want to be a rotation player. And uh, they don't want to be like hot prospects that will just be on the fringe. They want to play. And I can't guarantee in that. So that's not happening at the moment. Looking at the league table, we currently sit in third place. Four points behind Bayern and two behind Wolfsburg as well. They've had a really good year. And they've only lost four and drawn two. They've had a really, really good run. And they were top for a brief spell as well as they overtook Bayern. Uh, but we're four points off them, which isn't too bad. We are two clear of Dortmund. We're four clear of Leipzig. We're five clear of our opponents today, Schalke. Because he carried Jota's top scorer with 21 goals. Pregrinho with 6 assists, so he's doing well this season. Carried Jota's though, he's a top scorer. And uh, he's out for a couple of weeks. With the twisted ankle, I think it is. Uh, yeah, twisted ankle. So it could be up to three weeks. Hopefully not too long. I'd like him back for that Champions League game. But um, our top scorer is currently out of the team. Uh, Tarnat is a doubt as well with an ankle injury. And Kuchin is out with an illness. So uh, missing a few players today. But we are odds on favourites for the game. This should be pretty simple. But Schalke are doing well. They're in sixth place. So they're not to be not to be taken lightly. Alright, so we're going to do a quick pick and see what it gives us. Uh, Kalman and Khan are up top, I agree with. Uh, let's put Malurum at left back. Because I think, do we have um, Vermola back yet? He is available to play. I think we'll have him on the bench. Um, so the back four's fine. Biasoli and De Winter, I think, is our best midfield pairing. Although um, Pukai might be good there as well. Petrol's going to play. Hermanus, is he going to play? Or are we going to go with Romero? I'm going to go Romero for this one. Um, just drop him a bit deeper. So go with a flat 4-4-2. I think we'll have Tyner on the bench just as a precaution. Hopefully we won't need him. Uh, so Vermola's going to be on the bench. Dines is going to be on the bench as right back because Kuchin's out at the moment. Herman, it's Progrino, Strebel, Pukai and Tyner. So let's get another midfielder in there. Let's get Burkhard onto the bench. Uh, let's lose Strebel. Okay, the team talk's gone pretty well. So let's jump straight into the game then. Off we go. We are attacking for this one as well. So we are really going to try and go for it again. Again, just try and outscore our opponents. Uh, it's a great start. Biasol has been injured in just a fifth minute. So not a great start to the game. I think we're going to bring on uh, Pukai to replace him. Not Burkhardt. We'll go Pukai. But an early injury is never good. I mean, we're 20 minutes in. There's been one shot at goal so far. Not the greatest of games. And there is a highlight. The first one of the game. Petrov wins the header. 
uh, but immediately just gives the ball away. Romero, there's a lot of highlight here, but we're going to stay with it. It might result in a goal. Who knows? Romero with a cross. And that's Petrov. I mean, was that a shot or a cross? I don't know. Um, and it's Karna, and it's crawled over the line. Is that going to be a goal or is that going to be a foul? I think the referee is going to the VAR. It's been given. Um, I thought there might have been a foul in the lead-up to the goal with Karna, but not the case. I don't know if Petrov was going for goal or a cross, but Karna bundled it in. And we've got the goal. I'm going to put it back to positive. Just bring it back ever so slightly. A second goal before half-time would be nice, and we've got a throw in. Uh, ball given away. The Clevis will chase this down, and he does. Clevis goes long. Missed header there. Kyleman's through, and oh, he hasn't quite got it right. Karna's goal stuck at the top of the screen, and it's annoying me. There's a corner here. Oh, I don't know what the keeper's doing there. And he was stuck in no man's land there. But we've... That's a free kick. Okay, it's not a penalty. It was outside the area. It's 1-0. Uh, Kyleman had a chance to make it two, but missed out. Half time. We've been better. But they've had lots of possession, Schalke. They've done nothing with it. They had a chance later in the half there. We kind of gave that chance to them. We can, we're capable of better. We can do a lot better than this. Do you know what I realise? I like strikers that have the same letters. When I did Maidstone, I had... Josh Marger, I had Jaden Antwi, and I had Jamal Loza. Three strikers all beginning with J. We've got three forwards, and they all have a surname beginning with K. Kyleman, Karna, and Karajotis. There's a nickname in there somewhere, but I'm not brave enough to make it. Petrov might make it three here, but um, it's a good defending. It's 1 0. What am I talking about? That would actually be the worst nickname in the history of football. I mean, you had SAS with Spirals and Sturridge. I can't really do that with these ones, can I? Romero goes for goal, just over. I don't want to make another sub just yet, though. I, I'm worried about another injury. Pukai has not been terrible, but he hasn't done much since coming on. We really need a second goal. Do I? I'm going to go back to attacking. Here is uh, Flora Romero. And he puts a cross in there. Kyleman, surely. Oh, God, that was a bad finish. And the Babar has uh, made a few saves. Mind you, we, it's been easy saves. They haven't exactly been good saves. They've been simple saves. I know I said I'd only risk Tarnat, but he's not been doing well, Kyle. Tarnat's going to come on. Um, I don't remember if he's right or left-footed, actually. But he's on. This might be a very narrow 1-0 win. We deserve the win, but we need to be doing a lot better than we are, definitely. Five minutes left. Uh, let's go back to standard. Uh, sorry, balanced. Oh, it's hit the bar. It was Palladino, I think, with a header. All right, just to play safe, we're going to just stick a person in midfield. It's going to be Burkhardt. Just to try and run down the last couple of minutes. 1-0. Not been a convincing win. I mean, defending is, again, very good. But we should be getting a lot more goals than this. At its full time, just a solitary goal. Uh, it was a good performance without the finishing, really. We defended well. We controlled the game. But we, we missed a good few chances there. How many did we actually have? Three clear-cut chances. So that could have been a 3-0 win. It could have been a 4-0 win. Not the end of the world. We got the win. But it, it could have been a lot better. Hopefully that will see us uh, close the gap on uh, Bayern and Wolfsburg. Maybe even overtake Wolfsburg if that's possible. I think it is. Uh, Biasoli is another twisted ankle. It's the same injury as Carrot so he was going to have three to four weeks out. Uh, Bayern, four near winners. Wolfsburg, two one winners. So we don't make up any ground there. Um, it says you were, pretty much. Uh, but next episode, it's back to the Champions League. And we've got a tie against Real Madrid. The first leg in the Bernabeu will be next episode. We also have Wolfsburg off camera as well. And that's a team that, again, we've struggled against. So we'll try and get something in that. Uh, Mines also, Leipzig, Stuttgart, Hertha and Duisburg in the German Cup third round. So six games off camera. I should be able to get through them. Um, it's been a tough few days at work and... Uh, someone in the family has been in hospital as well. So that's why um, there hasn't been a video for a few days. I would have uploaded on Sunday, but I just haven't had time. So uh, there was a bit of a gap, but uh, we should be back to regular uploads now, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and try and finish this before FM20 comes out and maybe give us some time to maybe simulate a few years as well and see what happens in our absence. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, do drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. And follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. We're back to the Champions League next time uh, with Real Madrid. We're going to end things there. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.